know, the characters in the show, they don't have superpowers. They have abilities that we all have as humans uh, naturally just for some biological reason, mm -hmm. some change that happened. Some of the people in the show have their abilities to like the nth degree. So I do, I do believe in that. I've studied, you know, um, and read a lot about quantum, quantum physics and, um, and then just like Eastern medicine and health and wellness. I do believe that there are people who can enhance certain abilities, you know. Well, we know that anyways with people who are blind and then all of a sudden their hearing becomes, you know, um, you know, almost immaculate. And, you know, there are people who are quadriplegics who don't feel anything, but their ears um, get really sensitive. And so that's where they, a lot of times though, they'll get their pleasure. And um, normally we wouldn't think that that would work, but, but nothing else is, is being able to feel anything. So these other senses get heightened. So there are these abilities um, that we have been able to see from people to enhance what we already have. When I was filming X-Men, I did all of my um, own fight scenes and stunts and I was training for months and then it was about three weeks before I was supposed to film and I had pulled both hamstrings. It was so bad that just to the touch I would scream and the doctor was like, yeah, she's gonna be done for like months. I was like, there's no way I've been training for this thing. And I had already, you know, gotten into learning about some Eastern medicines and different things and and for five days straight, 24 hours straight, every day, even when I was sleeping, I created some system at night. And I, a combination of infrared therapy, amethyst crystals, magnet therapy, uh, this gua sa technique, which is like kind of like cupping, but different. And within five days, I was completely back and was able to do all of it. I look back on that time and realize, you know, I was able to get my body to heal a lot faster than the doctors, you know, told us that we could and told producers that I could. And I was able to come back. And so, you know, I do believe that if you really look and you try to find the the answers there's a lot of things around us all the time that that do aid in and in, in healing or getting our bodies to perform at a better level for the first time there are a lot of men who are aware of their existence you know, for so long now they've kind of gone through life not really thinking about what they say or how they say or what they do and how it will affect other people, but for the first time people are are nervous and they're questioning what they're doing or how it will be received. You know, if you ask any woman, minority, or LGBTQ member how often they're aware of their existence, they'll say every day. Like every day. You, you're aware of like, oh, I'm a woman in this room. Oh, I'm a Asian woman in this room. I, I have to think before I, you know, are, what, how will this be taken this way? How, how, will they like me? Will they respond? Will this be, will I be seen as this if I say this? And so now there's all these guys who have to worry about that. And honestly, it's, you know, it's like, you know, it's what the rest of us have been doing for a long time, and it's actually not a bad place to be in. <laughs> you know, I think the world works better when everybody is more conscientious of how they affect other people. Can I tell you a secret? Why are you doing it? Because of what you are.